Hey Taurus and welcome to my channel. I'm here doing your February 1st to the 15th bi-weekly love reading. This is for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, Taurus. The messages will not resonate with everybody, so please just take what fits and leave what don't. And check out your other signs. There we go. All right, Spirit Angels, what messages do you have for Taurus for the first two weeks of February in love? Please bring all messages to these cards for Taurus's best and greatest good. All right, the King of Swords. The Seven of Pentacles in reverse. Who had the Seven of Pentacles in reverse? Virgo, I believe, just had that card. Ooh. Okay, your guys is oh, bottom of the deck and shared um, energy with your person is the three of swords in the upright, clarified by the wheel of fortune in reverse, and the four of swords in reverse. I do believe that Virgo had the four of swords in reverse as well. Your guys' overall theme of the reading is the Eight of Wands. Behind it is the Four of Wands in reverse. And the High Priestess in reverse under that. So, let me get your messages here. Okay. So your guys' um, overall theme of the reading is the Eight of Wands. Communication coming in, um, coming very fast, very out of the blue. Um, and it is concerning secrets about, uh, secrets coming out about something going on within the home, something going on within your, your uh, the foundation, the stability, uh, yeah, something within your home, I'm hearing. So, uh, but this communication is coming in fast. Text, email. Um, we'll see what else we can get here as we pull more cards. But your guys' shared energy with you and your person is heartbreak. Um, a lot of heavy heartbreak. Uh, this heartbreak could have been going on for the last three years, off and on, I just heard. Um, but this is the downside of the wheel. You are experiencing a lot of emotional heartache, a lot of questions of why this is going on, why this happened, and you're needing to heal from this, but you, you're you not yet. Um, so make sure you are taking the time, taking some rest to really think about this. The truth has already come out with the Four of Swords, and that's why it's right after the Three of Swords. The truth has come out and now it's time to heal those three swords of your mind, body, and soul. Um, this, you know, this is, this is a karmic, uh, situation that you're dealing with, with the wheel of fortune in reverse. Yeah. Let me get some clarifiers here. So, all right. Um, where you guys are coming from is the king of swords. So, um, somebody made a choice to, you know, somebody, uh, took action Within this relationship, uh, kind of could have come out of life and breaking your system.
Revolution. Um, it's in reverse, however, so it's not yet done. There's, they, if they're not back yet, they will be back to finish this cycle. Um, if they are back, uh, the cycle will be finished very soon. But action is being taken, and that's why it's breaking your heart. With the Seven of Pentacles here, um, they're no longer, you or uh, your partner is no longer wanting to work on the the situation. They're no longer wanting to invest um, within this relationship, which is, you know, breaking up this family with the Four of Wands in reverse. Um, they're communicating this with you, and it's and it's cutting through like a knife. Um, it is clarified by the Lovers in reverse. So this person could have had somebody else. And that's why the Three of Swords is here, that they could have left for a little while to be with this person, but they have to come back and finish this karmic cycle because the wheel is still in reverse. So there's still karma to be dealt with. There's still karmic lessons to be learned. So you or them will be returning to finish up that cycle with the karma, um, or they did in the past. The current situation um, is no longer investing in this relationship with the lovers in reverse. Um, you did not choose them or they did not choose you. One of the two spirits advice to you is the 10 of pentacles. Uh, when it's with the cards, it's paired with, this is the ending of this cycle. So spirit is, um, spirits advice. Yep. Spirits advice is, uh, uh urging you to allow this completion allow this cycle to end because the wheel of fortune is clarifying it in reverse. So this home, this family situation that you are currently dealing with, um, allow the karmic lesson to be learned and then allow that cycle to end because you're, it's never, it's not going to get better. I'm sorry. It's just not with the wheel of fortune here twice in reverse. And it's clarifying the 10 of pentacles, um, as spirits advice. That's allow this cycle to end. When you allow this to end and you go back to the Ace of Pentacles, the Wheel of Fortune will then flip in the upright and then you will receive your, you know, the good side of the wheel. But with it clarifying it in reverse, this, this family situation that you're dealing with, this broken home, this broken foundation, this heartbreak, it, it can't get better until you um, end, end this uh, cycle that you have going on with this person. Um, and your outside influence, you have the nine of, uh, pentacles in reverse. Thing that there, um, could be fear in, in your mind, you know, how to make it alone. You're going to do this without the or, um, It's the 10 of pentacles will come in the upright when you end this situation that you're currently in and go back to the ace of cups your nine of pentacles will then flip in the upright because you will become independent you'll become single you will end this ten of cups um draining situation that you're currently in um you're holding off on walking away from it however because you're fearful of being single you're afraid to be alone. You're afraid that you can't afford it. Um, and you're not seeing your worth. You're not seeing your values. You have a lot of value. You owe it off and you more than what person has been putting you through. Um, it's going to get better with the wheel of fortune in reverse. So it's time to learn those karmic lessons and let this karmic cycle end. So the two of you can... Um, close out these chapters and move forward and, and be happy in the future, um, whether they be together or apart. What is, or this is, has the king, is you are kind or
to back, and you're realizing that maybe, um, maybe this isn't your wish. Maybe there's something better for you out there, and it's clarified by the Six of Swords. So you are going to, um, there we go. You see the boat, um, you are moving away from this situation and into smoother waters um, where you can find, um, you know, your wish come true. The bottom of the clarifying deck is death. So this is coming to the end of a cycle. Um, this is transforming. You are transforming. You are purging and releasing this relationship that is no longer serving you. Could be leaving a Virgo with the hermit in reverse. But um, if um, after secrets come out with the moon in reverse, yeah. So um, if you're not leaving a Virgo, then that is you refusing to listen to your inner voice about this relationship. But secrets coming out are going to cause that death process to begin and purging and releasing to, to happen. Um, remember to heal and take time for yourself, Taurus. This is very hard on you. Um, you're feeling a lot of hurt, a lot of sadness, a lot of betrayal. Make sure you take the time to rest and um, allow the wounds of this heartache to um, to be able to move forward into a healthy relationship. But it's time to let this karmic cycle. You guys are like in a loop. This isn't the first time this has happened. Um, you know, you've been through this cycle with this person before. They come, they go, they leave for someone else. They come, they go, they leave for someone else. It's kind of like Libra's <clears throat> reading list. You guys are um, continuing this cycle over and over and this heartbreak keeps happening because you're not healing with that four of swords. You're not healing from that situation. So then you're having to repeat your karmic cycle so you can learn your karmic lesson. So allow your heart to heal this time so you can move forward and away from that heartbreaking situation. And so you can find real love, true love, somebody who's going to treat you good. Whoa, whoa. Okay. Bottom of the deck is the Eight of Swords getting cut away from the Eight of Swords. Okay. Oops, what am I doing? Huh? All right. So your three cards out. Um, these are your three prediction cards uh, for the next two weeks of what um, will be going on. So um, your first card out was the Knight of Cups. Um, this in this deck is not the knight in shining armor that's offering you the, their cup. This is a, a knight that is on the selfish side. Um, he's not offering his cup to you or anybody. He would rather drink it himself. Um, this is somebody who wants things their way and only their way and um, very selfish um, in some in some aspects. Uh yeah, your next card out is the lovers. So um, the truth is coming out as Archangel Michael is holding the sword of truth right there. And you or your person or the universe, whoever it is, is going to choose love. Um, there is a choice here. I'll, I'll clarify it. Why is the lovers here as a prediction? Queen of Pentacles in reverse with the justice and illumination. Okay. So you or your partner is going to uh, choose to either love themselves uh, or to choose somebody that somebody outside of the relationship because justice is here um, with the legal system. The Queen of Pentacles is in reverse. So um, taking justice with an earth sign after some secrets come out with illumination. Um, and I say they're secrets because you have the moon card here as well with the person standing there by herself um, after finding out um, some secrets. Secrets are coming to light. The universe is illuminating um, all things done in the dark. And I do feel that this relationship will end in a legal battle for this group of you because you just can't nurture this relationship any longer. 
Taurus, you have put in and gave it all. And this person is still worried about their own cup. Um, and you're going to see that. You're going to realize that um, within the next two weeks, it's all going to become very clear to you what you need to do. Um, for this group of you, just make sure you take the time to heal. Heal those hurts that um, that is happening over and over and over because it's just a karmic cycle that you're going to have to keep repeating until you learn that. So please, please, please take the time to learn that lesson, heal those hearts, and true love will then come in for you um, in real fashion. So, all right, Taurus, I send you guys all healing love, light, and God bless.